Imagine discovering a munition in the least likely of places, perhaps in the idyllic Spring Valley neighborhood of Washington, D.C., or the bustling Port of Seattle on the West Coast. Believe it or not, instances like these are no stretch of the imagination. And when conventional munitions are recovered, the right people have to be sent in for safe destruction. The Chemical Biological Application and Risk Reduction Business Unit of the U.S. Army Edgewood Chemical Biological Center is routinely called upon to provide the safe destruction of explosive and non-explosive recovered conventional munitions. As a champion of safety and a recognized leader in demilitarization solutions, it is CBAR's responsibility to ensure destruction efforts across the nation are executed safely, securely, and in an environmentally sound manner. The T-30 transportable detonation chamber is owned by the U.S. Army and operated by trained and experienced CBAR personnel to maximize on-site operational capabilities for customers, including active installations with large stockpiles of munitions. With a maximum daily throughput of 16 munitions, let's take a look at how this transportable system provides high-performance solutions for destruction operations. A 75mm projectile is a commonly recovered warfare munition. First, the found munition is transported to a preparation table where the appropriate amount of sheet explosives is determined, rolled out, and cut into two pieces. Next, the shell is placed onto the long side of the sheet explosive, leaving the bottom of the shell exposed. A second layer is used to ensure the shell is wrapped tightly before it is secured with tape. The strips are cut and unfolded to expose the top of the item before overlapping the fuse layer by layer. A final horizontal strip is placed across the fuse where a booster is placed horizontally on top. A second strip is then placed over the booster perpendicular to the first strip and tape is used to secure the strips in place. The package is now ready to load into the T-30 detonation chamber, which features a double-walled construction fabricated with steel that can accommodate up to 30 pounds of TNT equivalent for projectiles with a maximum diameter of 155 millimeters. The chamber interior is lined with hardened, abrasion-resistant armor plates. The space between the walls is filled with dry silica sand that functions as a shock absorber and contributes to the overall weight of the unit, 160,000 pounds. The design of the chamber has received final safety approval from the Department of Defense Explosive Safety Board. Before entering the chamber, atmospheric monitoring of the interior is required to check for low levels of carbon monoxide and an oxygen level between 19.5 and 23.5%. Typically, a one-to-one -one mass ratio of water weight to total energetic weight is used to quench the detonation fireball and reduce peak temperatures. Water bags are filled and placed in strategic locations inside the chamber, and the wrapped munition is assembled and hooked to a strap in the center of the chamber. The effects of the blast are contained within the detonation chamber, localizing and reducing overpressure and fragmentation to a level that has no effect on the surrounding community. Solid emission products released by the detonation are collected on the torret bag filters. The T-30 TDC operation is fully enclosed under a tent-like structure to protect personnel and equipment from weather and to provide noise abatement during detonation activities. Since 2011, the T-30 TDC system has enabled CBAR to destroy more than 115 items at Spring Valley. 17 of those items were known or suspected to contain explosive material. In April 2012, the T-30 TDC system was transported to the Port of Seattle to destroy a variety of items, including a 5-inch projectile, 5-inch casings, a 20mm canister, and various ammunition materials. CBAR is part of the Directorate of Program Integration at ECBC, the nation's principal research, development, and engineering center for non-medical, chemical, and biological defense, located at the Edgewood area of Aberdeen Proving Ground, Maryland.